How's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Andrew Sudoku back with another episode for you. I hope that you're enjoying the speed at which I'm getting episodes out frequently now. Um, we have the Darkarai drawing that we'll be doing later on. That's what Evie's here to supervise. Uh, but before I get into all that, as you may or may not have known, last Saturday was free comic book day, and I am a comic book dude. So, uh, I was at work for the bulk of the celebration. Essentially what you do is you line up, because thousands of people want free comic books, you line up in one of your local comic shops and they will have the sampler comics that you can just walk up and take. So, uh, the abs, because he was so awesome, knew that there were ones that I wanted, and so he waited in line for me while I was at work. So first we have the Sonic Sampler. There's the Sonic Sampler for you guys. And uh, if you don't know, I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Absolutely love Sonic the Hedgehog, and I've been collecting the comic books since I was maybe 14 years old. I was in eighth grade, so 14 years old. Um, but look, there's, there's the double wide comic. Uh, not comic, poster, right there. That looks awesome. I don't know if I'm gonna risk taking it out. It definitely looks cool. There's an advertisement on the back for Sonic Mega Drive number one. This will be out in June. June is looking to be a great month. We've got the Warcraft movie, we got No Man's Sky, we got this, uh, I'm moving. Lots of cool stuff happening in June. So, uh, Sonic Mega Drive. And then I got the Attack on Titan Anthology or abs about the Attack on Titan anthology. Um, and I haven't looked at this super closely, um, but it looks like there's a bunch of different uh, authors and illustrators that create different Attack on Titan stories. So there's there's that, that's kinda cool. And then he got me The Legend of Korra. And Korra is, I don't know if you guys know, Avatar, there's Avatar right there. The Last Airbender. So let me give some love to Avatar down on the comments below, but this is Legend of Korra, um, and it's definitely pretty cute. And then there's something for, like, uh, How to Train Your Dragon, not so interested in that. But anyway, it's, it's cool, it's basically, Free Comic Book Day has turned into Free Comic Book Promotional Day. But, my local comic store had a deal where, uh, trade paperbacks were 25% off, uh, and so I bought a couple paperbacks. The first thing I got was The God's Lie. This is by uh, Vertical Comics. Retail at 13, got it for like 10. Definitely pretty cool. It's a one shot. Have it, I don't really know anything about it, but it came out recently um, and I was interested because it's a one shot. I like short stories. So The God's Lie. I'll let you guys know how that is when I get to it. I got Blue Exorcist 15. There's Blue Exorcist 15, and Blue Exorcist, uh, and that, first of all, guys, that is such a freaking awesome cover. That looks so cool, and I, I mean, Blue Exorcist is a badass manga. It's a shame we've only got 15. I don't know what the status is of the series in Japan. I, I think there's more, and it's just taking time to translate them, but I'm not super sure. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, they come out really slow, so it's great to have another one. Then, um, I've kind of been turning more, my interests have been turning more toward, uh, like, Westerner comics. So, I got Abe Sapien. Abe Sapien is Hellboy's buddy. Uh, so there's that. Not much of a back. This is the first one. Uh, it's by Mike Mignola. He does Hellboy, um, BPRD, that type of stuff. So, the first volume of that, we'll check that out. Don't know how that is yet. Uh, and then I also got Descender. Now Descender, I did actually read, and it was bad ass, you guys. It's so cool. The whole thing's watercolor. Let me find something that isn't going to spoil some shit for you. Um, there's kind of what it looks like there. But it's, it's watercolor, and if you look close, you can actually like see the canvas. You probably can't from the video, I'm sorry. You'll just have to say my word for it, but you can like see the canvas that they painted it on. Um, so it must have taken a lot of time. I don't know if it's digital and they're just doing a really good job at it, or if it's 
really is traditional, done by hand. Uh, but the story is really cool, and the art's really cool. Uh, the panel layout is really cool. So, Descender. And I actually ordered the next one on Amazon because I bought this one to like test it out, see how it is. Uh, and I love it. So, we'll get that. And then I got issues one through four, I guess trade paperbacks, one through five of Saga. Saga is, I read the first one, I haven't read the other five, but I've heard so much good stuff about it, I figured that I would get all of it. Um, but Saga is, it's like a Romeo and Juliet, there's two factions and they hate each other, and then one, a boy and a girl from each faction, they, they, they grow together and they, they love each other, and it's, but it's like interplanetary scale. It's really cool, the art's really good. Um, definitely entertained me the first one did I was I was enthralled by it uh, I like the characters so there's that that's pretty cool and I'll let you guys know more about it uh, when I read them all later but there's volume 2 volume 3 volume 4 and volume 5 and like I said the arts really really cool really weird really cool um, and I like space stories, I've come to understand, I guess. I also bought, uh, volumes 1 and 2 of the Amory Wars. Amory Wars? Amory Wars? Don't really know. Uh, I had a co-worker recommend this to me, like, a year ago. Uh, I'm about halfway through the first one. Um, and it's very fast-paced, very action-y. Um, it's, it's... It's keeping my attention, like I, I enjoy it, uh, not, maybe not as much as Descender or Saga yet, it's probably my least favorite of the three new series that I've gotten, um, but it's cool, and it's a solid book, like it's, it's hardbound, um, they retail at 30 bucks, but I found them for very cheap at my local comic book store, and I think you can find them cheap online too, um, so there's that amazing free comic book day haul. Now, Evie's here to judge the Darker Eye giveaways, and I put all of the names in here. There's only four, actually, so you guys have a fairly good chance at winning. Let's see who's got the first one, Evie. This one? This one is... I'm going to build up the anticipation. Natsume Reiko, you just won the level 100 Darker Eye code, so contact me with some manner of way. Actually, I could probably message you. Don't worry about it. I'll send you a code. That's pretty cool. Evie, you want to go again? One out of three. And we have... Majandana. Majandana. There's that. And Natsume Raiko. So I will send you the codes to the Darker Eye. And congratulations. And thank you very much for uh, messaging in the last video. Last, last video? I don't even know what video we're on. But I'm having fun. And I hope you guys are having fun too. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about the loot that I got for, her for Free Comic Book Day, make sure that you put them in the comments below. Talk to you about them. You want some juice? And as always, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys later. Peace.